Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today I'll be talking about Wix SEO. What are the basics of Wix SEO and how do you implement it to your website to get new visitors from Google organically without having to pay for advertising on social media or uh, Google or whatever it can be. So how do you get organic traffic? How do you rank in the search engines? We are gonna go through all the basics and everything you need to know in order to rank your website. So let's get right into the video and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave a like or a comment if you have any questions when the video is done. <music> Alright, before we begin the Wix tutorial, let's just begin with introducing myself. My name is Gustav Eriksson and I run my own website design and SEO based agency in Sweden. Uh, I upload videos around entrepreneurship or Shopify or dropshipping, Wix, whatever it can be that you guys want me to cover. I'll make a video on it if I have the knowledge that it requires to actually make a video on it. And the reason for this video is that I saw another guy uh, do a video on Wix SEO and he had very very little knowledge on actually how to do SEO so that kind of irritated me and I wanted to show you guys the real way of doing SEO on Wix and how you can rank your website to get more clicks and get more visitors and get more sales uh, or get more opt-ins or whatever you're trying to do with your website we are going to uh, go through how you can do it with your website uh, so I have actually opened up a, a just a simple template from Wix so this is not my website or anything this is just a simple template that Wix has provided uh, and this template is supposed to be for designers or something like that 3d designers uh, but it looks great all right the first thing you want to focus on when doing your SEO is make sure that all your text is categorized and now you're probably thinking if you know nothing about SEO at this point you're probably thinking what is categorizing the text so google is gonna search through your website and look through like what does your page and your website contain what is the page about is it about uh, cars is it about cameras is it about social media they have to know what your page is about in order to rank it in the Google search engine and that is how they rank websites under search uh, different terms so if you search for a car you will get websites to talk about cars right uh, so you want to make sure that your website is categorized uh, and actually has the right uh, options on the h1 h2 and h3 tags which is the prioritizing uh, measure that google will take a look at in order to see what your page is about so the basics are that the h1 tag which is in swedish right now but it has uh, um, topic one I guess uh, and h1 tag is the most important keyword on your site or your page so let's say that this page is about cars so the text should be cars uh, blah 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 something else but I want to make this keyword right here into a h1 tag and this is gonna tell Google that this is the most important topic on this page and you do not want to add more than one h1 tag per per page uh, and that is basically just a principle you don't add more than one h1 tag to your page uh, and this might change in the future i've seen some articles about that uh, you can add more than two h1 tags but uh, as as much as i know you should only put one h1 tag uh, but we'll see if that change in the future put a h1 tag on your main a title or your main keyword and it should be at the top of your page so you should not add your title at the bottom of the page because that is going to be crawled last in the Google uh, search on your page all right so let's continue with the text down below this text is just a normal text so you can add a a normal peach tag on this text right here and that is just gonna tell Google that this doesn't really have any kind of keywords that are uh, you're focusing it's just a plain text talking about a topic or whatever it can be uh, this text right here kind of has some keywords so I pr would probably put it as a h2 tag 
uh, that means it's still important but it's not as important as the h1 tag all right so we're gonna add it as a h2 tag and you can still change the text and the sign it doesn't matter if it, the text is uh, big small or whatever uh, the most important part is the h1 tag and h2 tag uh, that you actually have changed the tags okay but this is gonna look horrible uh, we're not really doing a design video right now we're just doing a really quick seo video uh, so that is basically the basics of using the tags and the tags are important so make sure all your text on your website has a tag if you have a, a big text we don't really have a, a bigger text right here so i'm just gonna add a, a bit of text this text i would make into a p tag which is already is which is good but what people normally do at least when you're a beginner you probably just go here and you don't really know what the h1 and h2 and h3 tags are uh, so you just go ahead and add like this one right here and you just type something in it uh, and that's just whatever so make sure the tags are right and let's continue into the actual seo part of your site if you go to your pages on your site and you see that you have all your pages uh, aligned over here uh, you can click on the three dots in order to open the SEO so this is how your website is gonna look w uh, in the search engines so when people search for uh, whatever you're talking about this is how it's gonna look in the search engine so you want to make sure that your page title which is this part right here has the keywords you're trying to target and you also want to make sure that the title is somewhat related to the title of your page so let's say you have a h1 tag on your page that says uh, top five cars uh, in in sweden all right so top five cars in sweden that is your that is your tagline on your page so you might want to make your title uh, uh, top five cars you must see in sweden all right so you have the you have the keywords in your title uh, of your uh, of your title tag as well as on your page so this is going to relate to each other you also want to make sure that you use around 70 characters in your title uh, and what i usually do because fire or um, wix doesn't really have a word counter in their uh, in their system so I usually just go ahead and go to word counter, uh, which is kind of tell you straight away how many characters your uh, your title has. So this is 34, we can go up to 70. So top cars you must see in Sweden. Uh, and then you might want to add one of these. Uh, re mm, I might want to add something else. Uh, what I normally do is just add the website domain at the end of it. Uh, but in some cases, I do add some more uh, keywords here. And so let's say cars, um, maybe top five cars. And then I add a page. So let's say it is who is Bob and Bob .com. So this would be my page title, my title tag. Uh, so this is how it's gonna look in Google can't really see the whole thing but in case you search it on Google you will see the whole thing and it's gonna depend on if you're on phone or if you're on your desktop or whatever uh, down here you have your meta tags or your meta description and in this box right here you want to add a short description about what your page is about that want uh, gets people to click on your link in the search result so whatever it can be so we have your our top five cars all right so i finished the uh, meta description i had to speed it up because i don't really have a lot of knowledge on cars but this is probably good so see the top five exotic cars in sweden 2019 these cars are amazing and will never be seen in sweden again uh, it's not the best uh, meta description ever, uh, but it does the point. So it does have uh, the cars and the Sweden, which are my two keywords for this uh, page. Uh, let's say it is. Uh, so they are, uh, Google is gonna see that these two are re related and they will be able to categorize our 
page for those keywords all right i also added a read more here to get people more excited on actually clicking on it because when people click on your page and you have a good page with uh, with information that actually relates to whatever people are searching for so if i go ahead and search for uh, top five cars in Sweden, which is exactly what you have written your article about, people will go onto your page and if they like your content that you have on your website, they will stay on it and that will increase your ranking in the Google search engine because Google will see your content as relevant since people stay on your website. So if you have something like read more, that is gonna entice people to actually click on it. And when people click on it and stay on your website, that is gonna increase your uh, Google rankings in the long term. So it's not like you can search for the keyword yourself, click on your website and hope that your website is gonna rank higher. It doesn't really work that way. So you, ha you have to have a lot of different people actually go on your page and it's gonna, in the end, help your website rank higher. The last thing we want to check on this is that your website, so let's say this page was not our homepage, right now it is, but let's say it was not our homepage. Uh, we want to change the slug of your page, which is the ending of your domain. So let's say my domain is whoisbobbin.com. You want to have it slash uh, top five cars Sweden. Uh, or something related to the content as well. So let's make this like um, top five cars, cars in Sweden, which probably is a good slug. Uh, you kind of want to keep them shorter and you don't want to have so many uh, things that are not really a keyword. So in, that is not a keyword. Top and five is not a keyword, depending on if I'm trying to actually get people to search for top five cars. But if I only wanted to target cars uh, in Sweden, I would probably just have cars in Sweden in the slug as well. Uh, and that is just to give it even extra more information for Google to actually be able to check on your site and make sure they know what your website is about and how they are supposed to rank your uh, website in the Google search engine. But that is gonna be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want more videos on how to do SEO and more advanced SEO, please leave a comment on it and I will make sure to make a video on it because I don't really know what uh, you guys want me to produce and what you guys want me to cover. Uh, so I really appreciate when people leave comments on topics you want me to cover. I will make sure to check on that in the future. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Don't forget to subscribe like the video and comment if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the very next video.